what's up you guys today starting off things a little bit differently but the plan for today's video is i want to go out and shop for some new body care i've been seeing so much new stuff on instagram especially and i want to try to go find it i did find a few things i think like a week week and a half ago whenever i was at walmart there's even more new stuff that i'm trying to find i've been sick for the past like 10 days or so i am starting to feel better but it's just kind of like lingering cough and stuff and i specifically was waiting around this morning it's already like almost noon at this point but i've been sticking around waiting for a package to arrive but now i think it's actually going to be delivered later on this evening i'm trying to time it to where i can be home whenever it gets delivered and i also wanted to make a coffee because i didn't make one this morning sorry i'm just kind of rambling while i'm gonna make my coffee but yeah let me bring the camera over here actually while i make my coffee okay i don't know if this angle is like a really good angle or not but back to the whole package situation so the whole reason why i want to be home is because i had a few packages stolen over the weekend and that has never happened and it is so so frustrating we do have cameras and stuff like in front of our house but nobody was home so unfortunately a whole bunch of stuff did get stolen. Now I want to be extra careful and I'm tracking all the packages that way I know exactly when stuff is going to arrive. But I'm sure if you've had any packages stolen, it is extremely frustrating. I'm just going to make a little coffee. I've been making iced coffee again. We did finally get an espresso machine, so I've really been enjoying it and I've been making my coffee pretty much every day at home. I have like a love hate with making coffee at home because I do like making it cuz almost always I like the way it comes out since, you know, I'm making it exactly how i like it but it does take a little time sometimes maybe i'm just like slow at doing all this but we got like a like coffee grinder and stuff because we got like the whole beans and it's just it's kind of a process okay i had to grind some more coffee because i was just barely short to do a double shot i think that's the most annoying part like maybe next time i'll just get regular ground coffee instead of the whole beans i also just started pretty little liars this morning i've been looking for a show to watch i like re-watching older shows just finished re-watching gossip girl i don't know what it is like i like to go back and watch shows that i've watched already like i rarely ever pick up something new i've never watched pretty little liars i think it came out i think like over 10 years ago and i just never got into it i just watched the pilot and it's actually pretty good i was just running out of things to watch like i already rewatched gossip girl i watched one tree hill for the first time i rewatched the oc i don't know if y'all are the same way where you like to rewatch older shows i like to do a little brown sugar i don't do a ton of brown sugar i just do about a half a tablespoon maybe a little bit more so yeah i just put this and pour the shot over the only other bad thing about making my coffee is i end up dirtying a lot of dishes since i am doing like a shake and espresso i got my little shaker here i try to get all the brown sugar there at the bottom okay got all the shaken espresso in there and i'm gonna put it in my to-go cup i like to add oat milk in mine this is my go-to i love this one the chobani extra creamy and i just do a splash of the oat milk since i am going to um make a call phone the neighbor's dog is barking i think i can hear them outside though that's the dog that's always barking in the background of my videos and then the cold foam is super easy i just got this new um syrup i found it at tj maxx for 7.99 and it's a cookie butter syrup and it tastes i was gonna say it smells it tastes so good so i'm just gonna make that with a little oat milk and heavy whipping cream. Oh my God, so another thing I was gonna mention is I recently, well, over like, I think since like November, December, I really got into reading. A little after Christmas, I think last month, I finally ordered a Kindle. It took a little while to come in. I ordered it off Best Buy, but I think it was just the specific one that I got and the color, it just took a little bit longer to ship. But anyways, I finally got it. I have my Kindle here and I love it so much. I do have free Kindle Unlimited right now for I think like three months which is nice and I have really been enjoying it. I thought I would miss like reading an actual physical book a little bit more just because I like, I don't know, I like having them and it's just nice to have them display, especially after you read them. Like it's like a little trophy or like a reward, you know, after you finished a book. So I thought I would miss that a little bit more, but I don't know. 
The Kindle is very convenient. That's what I really like, especially because I like to read at night and it's just a lot easier on your eyes. So I don't know, I just wanted to mention that. I posted a TikTok of like decorating and everything with all the stickers and stuff. So if you have any book recommendations, let me know. I'm into like thrillers right now and I also like romance. That's a new category that I never read before. I usually would stick to thrillers, but I've been reading a lot of Frieda McFadden books and right now I'm reading Wildfire. I just finished Icebreaker a little while ago and I really like that one. I'm just kind of rambling. I wanted to do like more vlog style videos, kind of similar to this. I don't really do anything too exciting to be honest like i am definitely a homebody i am always home <laughs> i kind of want to do like some different vlogs like still incorporate like beauty stuff like maybe we can go check out like body care stuff do like shower routines i don't know maybe a little cooking coffee recipes because i love making my coffee at home here's the test so here's the coffee in here let's see i think the cold foam is looking pretty good Could have been a little bit thicker. I think I need to replace the batteries in my um, frother. It looks so good. And this actually keeps my drink cold for so long. Like there have been like the next day, whenever I forget to wash it out, there's still ice in there. And I think this one was from either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Okay, now that the coffee is done, really the only thing I have left to do, because I'm pretty much done already, is I want to pick out a scent of the day. I need to do that before I go because I've been telling myself I need to use up more products. I need to be consistent and try out different things for my collection because I am very guilty of just sticking to the same stuff over and over again. And I did kind of redecorate my shelves a bit. I wanted to go for something a little bit more simple, even though I'm sure to a lot of people this is still like cluttered, but in my opinion, it's really not that bad. Here's a closer look at the shelves right now. And I just tried to organize it in a way that just looks a little bit less cluttered. And I just plan on rotating the products so that way I can use more stuff up. I have like most of my Sol de Janeiro sprays here. I have a lot of new stuff from Mimic. I wanna do a haul of some new products that I found at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So I've been picking up some of these body mists and the perfumes and I have a bunch of the oils over here. That's kind of how I have it organized for right now. So you know pistachio is super popular right now. So I wanna do like a pistachio scent, I think today. Um, and I'm just gonna go crazy with this because this is just like a body mist. You can actually use this in your hair. Maybe I'll put a little bit in my hair too. I did recently color my hair. It was kind of like this reddish color. Really, I hadn't dyed it red in a long time, but that red, I did not want to leave. The scent is honestly really light. I don't know if you can tell by the liquid, like it just looks very watery. Oh, well, duh, the first ingredient is water, but you can tell for sure. Like it's a very thin mist, so it's not gonna be anything like super long lasting. I do feel like it lasts a little bit better on your clothes. So I think I'm gonna go in with the matching perfume. I want to make it a little bit sweeter, so I have my Vini perfume. I love this one. I've been reaching for it more often these days. It just kind of goes with everything. Anything you want to make sweeter and add a vanilla note to, this is what you add on. So that is going to be, I think that's going to be the scent combo for today. I do have a new bag that I just got. It's this Coach one. I don't know. Should I wear this one? I have that one. And I also got this black tote that I've really been liking. It's just this plain black tote here. And it just kind of goes with everything. And right now I'm pretty casual. I'm just like in a hoodie and sweats. So maybe I'll do that one. I did already have this packed kind of from the other day. I ate at Chick-fil-A and I had a whole bunch of extra sauces and I feel bad throwing these away. So I took a whole bunch home. Only because they gave me so many. This honey roasted barbecue sauce. That is so good. I'm just grabbing what I have on my lips for today. I've been loving this Sephora lip liner. It's the number 28, Sink or Suede. And then this is the e.l.f. Lip Oil. Something Session. I cannot read that at the bottom, but I love these e.l.f. Lip Oils. And this one's like the darker, it looks like a dark plum color, but I mean, I have it on my lips right now and it's the perfect shade of pink. So I've been loving this one. I'm just throwing that in here. And... I think the first stop I want to go to is Walmart. I think that's pretty much the only one I'm going to go to. 
maybe Target because they do have some new stuff as well. So I'm going to head that way and hopefully if I find some new stuff, I'll share with you guys what I find in store. And then if I pick up anything, we'll wrap things up with a haul at the end of the video. I did end up including clips from today and also from the week before whenever I went to Walmart looking for new body care. So one of the first things I spotted today was this secret deodorant in a brown sugar scent. This definitely wasn't here the last time I came because I was looking through all the new deodorants and I was just trying to go through and see if there was any more new ones. I think some of these they've already had. They just maybe repackaged them and kind of gave them a new look. I love anything sweet so I definitely wanted to try that one out and this one I think that this is probably the most exciting find. I had no idea this was coming out. There is a vanilla cupcake scent from Dove so I had to grab that one and there are just so many new deodorants. They have this even tone one with niacinamide. This one was in a shea butter and vanilla scent. I was tempted to grab it and I did notice they also had some sprays. This one is in the apple blossom and they also had a peach blossom. I think it said something like you're supposed to notice a difference within like three weeks so maybe I'll try it next time. They had so many stick deodorants. I think the peach one is new but I'm pretty sure they've already had this one in the beauty finish scent. That's actually one of my favorites in the sprays. Over here I noticed some new bar soaps. These are actually pretty expensive. They're like almost six dollars each but I just wanted to try them out so I did end up grabbing one. They had this juicy berry ones with hints of brown sugar and they also had this coconut milk one. Between the two, surprisingly, I ended up liking the berry one. So I just grabbed one, that way I can try it out and actually see how the formula is and see what it's like since it is a whole new product. I went over to the Dove section and they do have a new scrub out. So I guess they have a whole line in this new white peach scent. It was okay, it was like a nice kind of fresh scent. I didn't end up grabbing it, but it does also come in a matching box. Body wash. I know Olay has a ton of new body washes right now, so I was trying to find some of them. Look at this one. Why would somebody do that? That was the only one too. I think there are about like four or five new scents from this line. I thought this was replacing that other moisture line, but I still saw that one on the shelf. I think this is just like a whole new collection. Back to Dove, I just spotted some of these because they said limited edition, but I'm pretty sure they've already had these. They just might have given them a new look and kind of repackaged them. I saw they had this winter care one and then over here, this is a brand new scent and this is the one I was most excited for, this blueberry scent. I always get excited whenever I see a blueberry scent, so I definitely want to grab that one. And then over here from the brand Billy. I've never tried any other products before, but I saw they had a new body wash that I wanted to grab. I was trying to find the price, but I think it was around like six or seven dollars. And then over here at the second Walmart that I went to, I finally found the cherry body wash I was looking for. So this is one of the other ones from that Olay collection I was talking about, but Oh my God, $13, I just, I could not justify paying that much for an Olay body wash. So I didn't end up grabbing it. It does sound really good because I love cherry and rose scents. They also had this salicylic acid body wash and I just think I was a little bit too early with trying to find all the new stuff because a lot of these spaces were empty. So I, I might have to check back within like a few days or so. I did spot one other native body wash in the cotton and lily scent. It was just a nice, fresh smelling body wash. I actually did end up liking that one because I love cotton scents, but yeah, that is everything that I found today at Walmart. So I'm back home from Walmart. I think I got clips at both stores, but I did end up going to two Walmarts. I didn't find everything I was looking for, but I did pick up a few things that I saw today, and then there was a couple things from the other day whenever I went. I'm gonna start off with the things that I picked up today from Walmart. Um, I didn't pick up much body care, but I did notice is this new hydrating body wash from the brand Billy. I've never tried any of their products before, and this one is just called Bounce and it says hydrating body wash with hyaluronic acid and it has a creamy vanilla cedar scent. So I tried this one a little bit in store. It does have a very light scent, but it kind of reminds me, I forgot what that brand is called, but it's sold in Target and they have that really popular vanilla cashmere scent. That's what this one kind of reminds me of in body wash form. I do wish it was a little bit stronger. I just thought for like, especially like a nighttime routine, anything like that where you're just not wanting anything really sweet and too strong, this would be great to use before bed. It almost kind of has like a perfume-like smell because of that cedar note. But the scent is a little bit on the lighter side. I'm kind of curious about the formula as well. So that's kind of another reason why I want to grab it. One body wash that I am really, really excited about is this one from Dove. This is their new blueberry scent. It says blueberry and moon milk. I really hope that they bring this one out in a scrub because I love blueberry scents. Mm, this one smells... 
It smells more of like a blueberry candy. Like it's very fruity. It almost like it's a tiny bit tart. Still pretty sweet. Um, to me, it just smells more of like a candy. I don't think it smells super gourmands like a blueberry muffin or like a cake or anything like that. Definitely leans a little bit more fruity, but I feel like it's very rare to find blueberry scents, especially from like drugstore brands that you see like at Walmart and Target. Very excited about this one and I already know I love the Dove body washes. So I knew I wanted to grab that one. Another new Dove scent that I got is from their teens line and it is aluminum free. This is in the vanilla cupcake scent. I was so surprised to see this one because I mean, I didn't know anything about this one. I didn't know this was coming out. Would it be weird if I'd like <laughs> put a little on my hand? I feel like I'm like swatching it or something, but mm. I don't know how to describe this scent. It does have this like almost cake batter. I almost get like, I wanna say vanilla spice, but I don't know if it's exactly what it smells like. Like it's very warm, sweet for sure. It does lean more gourmand. I'm almost, I'm automatically thinking of the cupcake swirl scent from, um, what is it, Body Fantasies? That's what this one kind of reminds me of. It's not the exact, but it definitely does have a vanilla note to it. It does lean a little bit warmer, so some people might find, you know, that odd in a deodorant. I do love my sweeter deodorant scents, but I don't know, I think for every day, I usually just grab for something a little bit more on the fresh side. This is kind of different for a deodorant scent, but I think it was still cute and I wanted to try it. I love the Dove Teens line, even though it is like marketed towards teens. I like a lot of the scents. I did grab another deodorant. This one I just grabbed today from Secret. It's their dry spray in the brown sugar scent. I use these sprays all the time. So I'm going to smell this one because I didn't even smell it in store. Hmm. It's reminding me a little bit of that vanilla one that they came out with last year. Not exactly, but it does kind of smell like that. Like, I don't know if I was just smelling this blind without reading the label, if I would automatically think brown sugar. It smells a little bit sweeter, but I don't know if I'm really smelling brown sugar. I do really like these dry sprays. I just like them to like kind of match whatever scent I'm wearing for the day. So that's why I want to grab this one. Maybe I'll have to like actually put this one on and wear it. But yeah, I don't know if I'm for sure smelling brown sugar. And then one of the last things I grabbed from Walmart is one of these bar soaps. This is the oat milk and berry brulee. This is actually a cleansing bar and these ones are new. It has notes of juicy berries and hints of brown sugar. I don't know what exactly makes these different from just like their regular bar soap, but they are supposed to be moisturizing. It says enriched with plant milk. This creamy bar provides ultra nourishing goodness for all day soft skin. So I love just like the regular Dove bar soaps. I wanna open this one and actually see what it looks like. I do like that in store it has a little area where you can actually smell them. Oh, so this definitely looks different compared to the regular Dove bar soap. So here's a closer look at it. It kind of reminds me of those like natural bar soap. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like you see them sometimes like at Whole Foods or those little markets. It does have a nice scent. <coughs> Sorry, I started to feel like more congested. So if my voice sounds a little funny, that's what it is. But yeah, it has a nice like berry scent. I don't know if it really smells like milky, gourmand, anything like that. It is a softer scent for sure. I can smell the berries, even though my nose is kind of stuffed up right now, I can still smell it. This was just another thing that I wasn't crazy about the scent. Like it doesn't smell bad. I do like the scent, but I mainly just wanted to actually try it out, see how I liked it since I do like the regular Dove Bar soap. And then while I was at Walmart, I stocked up on my favorite mac and cheese. If you guys have never tried this one, it's the Great Value brand, and I mean, for a boxed mac and cheese, it's pretty good, like whenever you're just in a rush. So I got the smoked Gouda one, and I also got the white cheddar and black pepper. I do add, like sometimes I'll like season this and add like my own shredded cheese as well, but on its own, it's not that bad, I'm not gonna lie. So I got those, and I also grabbed some little packs of rice. Just cause last week I made rice like five times and I'm kind of over it. So this one is just like an instant one. And this one is the, the coconut jasmine one. And this one tastes really good. I did grab a couple other things from Target the other week. Um, or actually this was probably like two weeks ago, but I haven't filmed it in a video just yet. So I figured I would just include it in here. You guys probably saw the Native Girl Scout cookie collab. Native always kind of does these gourmand collections, which I'm a big fan of. So I was really excited to hear that they came out with this. I don't think it's as popular as I was expecting it to be. At least at the targets around me, they have a ton of stock left over. So 
maybe people aren't enjoying them as much. But I did grab a few things because these at the time I was able to get like buy one, get one 25% off, something like that. They had a little deal going on. So I got a few of them. This body wash here is the peanut butter one. And okay, let me tell you guys, I did not expect to ever own a peanut butter scented body wash. Like that just sounds really strange, you know? Like I smell the peanut butter, but it also just kind of smells like a cookie, like a freshly baked cookie. That's what it smells like to me. So I just wanted to try it out because where else are you gonna find a scent like this? I also ended up grabbing the coconut caramel one. This is my favorite Girl Scout cookie. This just smells like a caramel cookie. So if you're a fan of caramel and you love like the gourmand cookie like scents, of course, I think this one is probably gonna be the best one. I tried all the other ones. They had the mint one and they also had, I forgot what it was called. It's like the more like shortbread cookie one. I do already have some mint body washes from last year and I also got the peppermint bark one from Dove during the holiday season. So I felt like I already had something similar to that. And then the other one I wasn't really crazy about. My favorite would be the Caramel Crunch just because it has that caramel note to it. It smells more like the caramel drizzle, like the syrup that you can add to like your iced coffee or something. That's what this body wash reminds me of. So along with that, they also came out with this deodorant body spray. I think Native has had these sprays before. I just never noticed that these can be used as body sprays. I don't know. I thought that was interesting and because I already like the scent, I just decided to grab this one. I mean, I haven't tried out the formula or anything yet, so I don't know how well this would work, but native products in general are pretty pricey, so I don't know, I'm gonna just see if that one's worth it or not. The body wash is still a little bit sweeter. This almost kinda has like that alcohol type scent to it, I don't know. Maybe I need to try it out a little bit more and actually really see, but just my first impression of it, I'm still a little unsure. And I did grab one of the regular native deodorants. This one is in that shortbread cookie scent. I forgot that I grabbed this one. I have already used this one actually, I used it right whenever I got it. And the deodorant, it smells really good. From what I remember with the body wash, it didn't smell the exact same. I did really enjoy it in the deodorant, so that's why I just ended up grabbing that one and passing on the body wash. Overall, I think it's a cute collection. I mean, I always get excited whenever there's new, unique scents like at the drugstore. But Native is a pretty expensive brand. More on the high-end side compared to some of these other brands like Dove, Soft Soap. You know, like they are a little bit more pricey, so I would definitely wait for a sale. Like if you're shopping at Target or something, just wait to get some sort of deal. They usually have something going on. That's why I usually like to buy my native products there at Target. And speaking of expensive, like the, what was it? The Olay body wash, that cherry and the rose and cherry cream, that was like almost $13. That is really expensive for an Olay body wash. I don't know what's going on, what is in those. I mean, it's a good size bottle. You get 20 fluid ounces, but that just seems really, really pricey. Like if you wait for a sale at Bath & Body Works, you can get one of their body washes for like five bucks. Even though I really wanted to try that one because I love rose and cherry scents, that was just, that was just a little bit too pricey. I couldn't do that. And there were a few others that I'm on the hunt for. I didn't see them today. Okay, sorry, I had to go grab something real quick, but yeah, I was just going through my camera roll to kind of remember everything that I saw today. There were a lot of new deodorants, like there was a lot of new dry sprays and just regular stick deodorants from Dove. I just wanted to pick out the scents that stood out to me the most, like the vanilla cupcake one, of course, and the brown sugar, because I think out of all of those are some of the most exciting ones. They did have a new peach one. So I'm assuming they have a whole peach line because there is a body wash and a scrub. I think I showed you guys the scrub in store, but I still haven't been able to find the actual body wash just yet. So I'm kind of thinking maybe next week, maybe I'll go to the store. So if you guys kind of want a part two to this body care hunting, like all the new stuff, just let me know and I can always do that. I enjoy just like more of these relaxed, vlog style videos like this one it's like not like a full vlog but i kind of wanted to start doing some different stuff but i also do have some hauls coming up of some things that i picked up like i got a bunch of new perfumes and body care that i found at tj maxx and marshall's I also picked up some new claire's perfumes if you guys saw um, they were kind of going a little viral on TikTok. They have some new perfumes at Claire's and they're all like gourmand scents and i picked up four of them so i kind of want to do a review or like a little first impression videos on those. I also picked up some new stuff at Pink as well. They have a new pistachio gelato scent. 
So I definitely have some videos to get caught up on, but if you guys stuck around and made it to the end of this one, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And of course, if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, you can just give this video a thumbs up. It always helps on my videos and helps on my channel whenever you do. So I always appreciate whenever you guys do that. And yeah, let me know if there's anything new that you picked up or if you're just passing on the body care because I get it. Like there is so much stuff out there and you know, I just like even though like I feel like I still got a decent amount of stuff, but I'm still trying to be a little bit more picky about the things that I bring into my collection while still having like stuff to talk about here on my channel. But definitely let me know if you picked up anything, if you spotted any of the new body care already in store. And of course, subscribe if you have not already. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye.